cardstock to five and a quarter inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a square and then I'm also going to cut another little bit to do that um, to do that little bit on the bottom jaw, right? So I've got my couple of bits of cardstock here. And then what I'm going to do is use a couple of those sparkle pens. So I've got uh, a cornflower blue and starry sky. So these are from your coastal set, this cornflower blue, right? Now here we go. When we're doing sparkle, but we're going to get we're going to be getting messy this morning. I'm just going to manage expectations, right? I'm going to start off. And I'm just using some of the stamping card. We've got the stamping card on the show, by the way. So I'm going to use the dark blue, first of all, onto the back part. Now, the darker the colour, the more this technique will show up really, really well, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm using it straight from the pen so that we don't dilute any of the sparkle, all right? Oh, wow. So we've got that really, really dark. Actually, I was going to start and mix it with the next shade of blue. Oh, go on, I'll do a, do a little bit just so we get a little bit of shading in here, right? So if we put some of the other shade in, and then we just give that a good wash all over. See, the more water you use, Joe, what will happen is, yeah, I'm going to use a tiny little bit more, but the more water you use, the more you'll dilute the sparkle. Now, I quite like that really intensive there. Yeah, so we've got that one there. And then I'll pop that to one side to dry. And while that's drying, let's do the little piece that we had as well. I think I'm going to go in with the dark one again. So plenty of sparkle on. And you'll get, I'm going to show you how, how we can do like a little snow effect on the rooftops. You'll love this. And all I'm doing is I'm painting. Now this is exactly the same whether you want to use the pens or if you've got our pots of sparkle ink, the pots are exactly the same technique. They're just sometimes a little bit easier to work from. So there's slightly less versatile the pots, but you get a lot more usability out of them. Right? Is that stamping card stuff. or watercolour card that you're that using there? That is stamping card that stamping I'm using card. there. Because right? normally, would you normally, would it be a watercolour card usually? Uh, I've... Well, do you, want to, do you want the honest truth? Yeah. So stamping card is a bit cheaper than watercolour card. Okay. So when I don't need to do some fancy techniques, I use the I use the stamping card okay, because don't. it's going to be cheaper, right? So let's have a look. If I get my my now this is always a problem. This jaw it, it never quite reaches enough my uh, my cord. So I'm just drying this off. You want it nice and dry. Let me tell you, the drier the cardstock is, the more this technique works. So we've just got this kind of washed out technique and I'm going to take it a little bit further. It gets more and more shiny as it starts to dry. I can see it's always like fizzy as it starts to dry. It's can amazing you see the, the sparkle amount of sparkles there. in there. Yeah, it's, you see the sparkle. Now, if we want to just take, if we want to have it look like we've got a little bit of night sky on here, watch what we do. You just take your um, water here and we're just going to spritz a few bits of water onto the background. And these are going to look like our night sky, right? So you leave them, give them a couple of seconds. And what that will do is that will soak the water up in here. Then a little bit of kitchen towel. We just blot the kitchen towel and it gives oh, you wow. that lovely night sky effect. So can you see it's taken the kitchen, it's taken it out onto here. So that's looking really good. I'm not going to night sky the other bit, but you'll see how this will kind of all come together. So get this nice and dry to go through the embossing folder here we go so that embossing folder was the night before christmas and here we go when i open them remember if you want it to be embossed you're going to put the gemini sign at the back so this goes underneath and we can see there our rooftops and then also uh, santa claus and whatnot on the front so i'm going to take that send that through and emboss that first of all and then i'm going to do another one where we do the um we do the rooftops now there's that first one right then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take let me just pick all these bits up i'm going to take these rooftops and i'm going to emboss again the rooftops right did you see me i just painted that with water and then all we do tap this down and it starts to look like snow on the rooftops can you see? Oh, wow. So it's going to take a couple of little goes to take some of that really deep colour out. So all we're doing is we're putting water on the top there. And then the water, it just takes it out and it gives it this really ethereal feel to it. I mean, look how fantastic that looks just by lifting off little bits of that colour to make it look like genuine rooftops. 
So that's one technique that you can do with these for, for doing snow on the rooftops. And when I'm doing multiple layers, you're getting different amounts of, I guess, snowfall on there as well. Love this technique. Some fabulous cards I've seen the designers have done with this. By the way, if you want to see the cards with the designers, go and have a look on Pinterest and you'll see all the cards that we've done. We always share them all under Pinterest to give people an idea. I don't so think I've seen you do this rooftops. technique before, Sarah. You've never seen one? No, I don't think I've, I've seen, seen this technique before, no. Mm. Look, I'm going to do a little bit of moonshine around the moon, right? So I can do my moon and I can just pop water on the moon. Uh, here we go. And then again, just pick up a little bit of that colour off the moon just by lightening it up a little bit because I'm going to lighten it up and then we're going to put some gilding wax onto Santa Claus and his reindeer oh I think we'll have a little bit of silver gilding wax on the moon so there's our moon you can see the moon standing up there now right so let me get a little bit of the silver and I'm just going to go on here a little bit of the silver take it off again right let's just make sure this is nice and dry to make sure my moon is perfect. Michelle's dry. asking, Sarah, would the pens yes. or the inks be easier to work with for a beginner, do you think, with regard to sparkles? There's more you can do with the pens. Okay, so don't. if you're just going for one, get yourself the pens. There the you inks are. have more in there, but there's a lot more you can do with just the pens, right? So that's just giving me a little bit more sheen around the moon, right? So we've got that little sheen around the moon. There we go, a little, little bit of moon glow as it was. So, just gonna color my moon in there with one of the metallic pens. So we've got the moon, we've got the moon, well, hang on, what have we got? Have we got the moon glow or have we got the moon shine? Moon shine. Right, I we've think. got the moon shine going on and then now we've got a lovely moon out here. Now I'm going to just uh, emphasize the rooftop. Oh, I think I'll do that in a little bit of silver as well. Let's have the moon bouncing down on those rooftops, right? So you've just got a little bit just to kind of like make it stand out. Doesn't that look so much better when we had a little bit of the silver gilding wax under there? And then Santa's sleigh would be silver, wouldn't it? Like the, the bottom of the sleigh. But then the rest of his sleigh would be gold. So you can mix on and put a little bit. And again, I've got that lovely, because I'm a little bit obsessed with it. I've got that lovely uh, rose gold. So I'm just going to rub this over my reindeers. I had no idea. I'd never really thought about using yeah. two different sets of gilding waxes together in the one project, Sarah. Oh, totally. Yeah. So there we go. So there's our Santa sleigh. And again, if you want your Santa sleigh to stand out, I've got a nice little bit of red on the metallic here. I'm going to colour this in, in the metallic again. So there's our little Santa. And as he dries, you'll see him become even more shiny and metallic-y. Right? I'm then going to take, let's have a look. Is this one here dry as well? No, we just need to dry that off a little bit there. And I think I'll cut these out, Joe, and assemble this onto the front of my stepper card. Right, here we go. So there's <laughs> one. And then we put that base one on. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape on the bottom here. Only on the bottom section though. That will go onto this bottom part. I'm going to line up this so that when the card's closed and in the envelope, that's all lining up perfect, you see. And then all I've got, she says optimistically, I have got them here somewhere. Yes, I have. Right, I've die cut Merry, uh, Happy and Christmas. These are what we had on yesterday. Can you remember, we had some little dies for Happy Christmas. So, uh, Happy Christmas Day. When you're doing dies like this, right, you want your dotty tape pen or pop them in Betty the Spray Booth and you can give them a bit of a... Uh, Brenda. A Brenda. Not Betty oh, or Barbara. Oh, man. Or right. Beatrice. Brenda. <laughs> Brenda the Spray Booth. Right. Happy and Christmas. So, I'm just going to pop these on the front. Right. There is that fabulous Christmas ember and two layer Christmas embossing folder looking off the chart and look at that moon glow how fantastic does that look the moon glow by doing the the bit around with the gilding wax and then adding over that uh, that metallic pen looks just amazing